Hi everyone, this for Turtle Dove. How's everyone doing? Well, I mentioned I will be back for another unboxing. This is from the Diamond Art Club, Braveheart. And I got these last June, July for my birthday. This one and the other one, um, which I've already done an unboxing of. Gay Eye, Gaya. I don't know how to pronounce that one, but she is beautiful, so I can't wait to start her. But we are here to open Braveheart. Isn't he beautiful? So, let's get on with it. Um, this is a 20 inch by 27 inch or 50.8 centimetres by 69 centimetres. And it is by Millen Art LLC. Okay, so let's open. Been itching to open this for so long, but I wanted to make sure I did this on video. And it's always nice to look back at unboxings. Now, which end? Which end? I'll try the bottom. And I'll try the top. That's better. Hopefully be able to get most of the canvas in shot. So here's the little kit, the tool kit, and the sticker. And nothing else in there. I love the feel of, of the Diamond Art Club's canvases. They're, they feel like suede. They're so soft underneath. Really good quality the diamond paintings, but I don't always get these because I can't always afford them. So I would love a lot more, but I like to try and get at least one a year or two. So I haven't bought any this uh, 2023 yet, so I know exactly where this will be hung up too. It'll be hung up in my, in the hallway, uh, close to the entrance. Wow, lots of dark colours in here in the background, as you can see. table. I had my granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter, sleeping over last night at school holidays for them here in Australia. So I did a little bit of crafting with her and she made a little bit of a mess on here. I'm going to have to show you sideways I guess. And there's a bit of reflection as well. with the bigger ones. But look at that. Isn't he beautiful? In the forest of the night. And there are 52 colours. And I forgot to look how many ABs there are. Hopefully there's some ABs. Yeah, I think there are a few. My 
be five. Just by quickly having a look. leave this canvas out flat so it can relax and it's been sitting in the box for quite a while. And I think because the dark background um, it's the most difficult for me to work with very very dark colors so I mostly have to make sure I put those on during the day so just need as much light for me as I can get but I love it so let's have a look at the drills And the toolkit, which I'll show you the toolkit first. I love uh, the toolkits from the Diamond Art Club because you normally get some nice washi and a little magnet minder. got a drill pen with the different tips. I think it's a six placer and a four placer. You get your really good quality um, tweezers just so that you can adjust some of the placements and a little macaroon minder. Isn't that cute? Last time I got a flower, a little um, apricot coloured flower. That's cute. And some pretty washi. I always keep some of the washi if it's really nice. And I use some of the old crappy stuff that I've got there that sometimes the edges of the washi can get dirty and things. Um, yeah. And of course you've got your little heart container with some wax in there, some baggies and just a little secure little foam type, I don't know what you call them, and just put them over your pen so that doesn't stress your fingers out so much. But I will they're a good tight fit, so you've just got to twist it around slowly and push it down. But I won't do that now, that will take too long. So that's the kit. If I have a good, a nice collection of trays, oh, of course, you get the tray as well. And that has some gold glitter through that one, and a little stopper which. I didn't like using, to be honest, with the use, uh, making the putting together the Emerald City. I didn't like it, so I would just hold that over here and then shake it. So that would my hand would basically stop all the drills falling off. So I put that aside. Now you get your instructions, another sticker with a start and end date. I always put this in a book. And you've got all your symbols and codes with serial numbers that you can place on your little baggies or I just put them on my little book when I finished and I put the picture with the start and end date in a little exercise book and then I put this next to it. I don't actually use these. I just use the white stickers and number them 1 to 52. So that's that. 
now the drills lots and lots of drills okay start with this beautiful orange it's like a tangerine almost I'll just go through all the colours it is a little bit glary sorry about that Blacks, lots of navy blues. So maybe with this canvas I might apply all the black drills first. All the dark colours, all the black background. Or I might just work in sections. I don't know, I'll see how I go. Okay, hopefully I won't miss any of the ABs. I can see one here. But there's a beautiful teal, the rusty colour, old green, the cream. That's the AB. It's 141. It's a beautiful white. Purple, green AB, 134. Green pretty. Yellow, lemon, yellow, which is one, two, nine. Some of the numbers are scraping off, so I'm going to have to sort these out soon. I think that was three ABs in this one, I think. So I should have two more. That is a beautiful colour, beautiful orange, sort of orange yellow. Lots of dark colours. Just a little bit of pink and a little bit of brown, a little bit of this purple. Mm, there's an AB, that is one, two, six. So there should be one more, I think. Not many drills in each of these colours. That's a pretty colour. I'm trying to look. I don't want to miss the ABC though. That's a pretty blue, dusty blue. And that is 101. See the sparkle? Say that to your I'm in love with ABs. <laughs> Beautiful maroon. And pinks and purples and that's it so of course when I do the unboxing I can't wait to to start them so I will no doubt update you on the work in progress when I do start this so let me know what you think and let me know if you've recently bought a diamond painting from the diamond art club and which one did you pick? I'm too scared to go on their site because I know I want to buy more. <laughs> but I better wait a couple more months. Maybe I might get another one for my birthday this year. But these are collecting, so I need to start working on them. Because I don't want to end up with a pile of two dozen just sitting there. So, okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care and we will see you next time. Bye for now.